laws of probability, the addition law of probability. Now imagine you have two six-sided dice. There's 36 total possibilities. You could roll a 2 and a 1 and get a 3. You could roll a 2 and 3 and get a 5. But there's a lot of different ways to get a 5. There's four different ways, actually. You could roll a 1 and a 4 to get a 5. A 3 and a 2 to get a 5. A 4 and a 1 to get a 5. So there's four different ways to get a 5. What we do is we build a frequency distribution table. We take the information from the chart we made before and we build a, what we call a frequency distribution table. The four fives are represented by the four in this table, or the 4 over 36. So out of the, all the 36 possibilities, there's four chances you're going to get a 5. Again, 36 out of 36, we would add up all those probabilities and get a probability 36 out of 36. Probability is represented by 4 over 36 to roll a 5. So to roll a 5, the chances are 4 out of 36. We could actually divide that out and get a value of 0 0.111. So what we have is a probability of all probabilities, it's 36 over 36. Or if we did the relative frequency, which is when we just divide those numbers out, we have it, that all adds up to 1. And then we have a percent frequency, which all adds up to 100%. All three ways are basically the same way of expressing relative probability. So we can have probability represented as 4 over 36. Relative frequency is represented as 0 0.111. Or percent frequency represented as 11.1. All of these are represented by what's the chance of getting a 5. We have different terminology, but it all goes back to what's the chance of getting 5. So we have relative frequency. How often an event or class occurs relative to all other events? In this case, how often is it to get a 5 relative to all other events, which is rolling a 6, rolling a 7, so on and so forth? So what's the probability of rolling a 7? That would be 6 over 36. How about rolling 11? That would be 2 over 36. So what's the probability of rolling a 7 or 11? 6 over 36 plus 2 over 36, which is simply 6 over 36 plus 2 over 36, which is equal to 8 over 36. Something other than a 7 or 11, we could go through and add up all the possibilities of all getting rolling something else, which is the values on the left-hand side. Or we can take the complement. Now the complement is saying we know that there's 36 out of 36 chances. If you remember from the last slide, there's an 8 out of 36 chances of getting a 7 or 11. So we can subtract this from 36 over 36, which gives us 28 over 36. This is called the complement. So basically there's a 77% chance, 28 out of 36 chance, of rolling something other than a 7 or 11. So. A complementary event is basically how often does something else happen? Not getting a 7 or 11. We represent this mathematically as the probability of event A is equal to 1 minus the probability of the complement of that. I know it seems a little bit complicated, but hey, 
That's what we do in statistics. That's a mathematical representation. The probability of any event is equal to the relative frequency of that event. History is the best indicator of the future. Keep that in mind.